What's up, Wanderers? We are live, and we are exploring uh, the historic town of Vincennes, Indiana. This is the oldest town in Indiana, and one of the oldest towns west of the Appalachian Mountains in the United States. I'll talk a little bit more about the history of this town as we explore. But let's uh, enjoy a slice of Americana today. All right, I think this is a courthouse right up here. And I wanted to come take a peek at it. a memorial over here, Civil War Memorial. Wow, quite a building, isn't it? Hey, Adriana's here. What's up, Adriana? And this is the courthouse. We'll walk around here. Oh, this is uh, this is actually really important. So I wanted to show you guys this. We'll start on this side. Uh, so Mary Clark, she was a slave purchased in Kentucky, and then she sued for her freedom. And then um, she was denied that request of freedom at first. And then it went to the Supreme Court. And then in 1821, um, the Supreme Court of Indiana ruled that slavery was illegal. And uh, that lawsuit contributed to the end of slavery in Indiana. So historic and Pretty amazing, pretty amazing courage and will to fight from Mary Clark. And then we've got a war memorial here for the Civil War. And other wars, there's the Korean War, World War II, so the sons of Vincennes. And as we walk, I'll talk a little bit more about this city, because we're in a pretty special place. So Vincennes is a small town. It used to be one of the biggest cities in the West when this was the West. This was the Northwest Territory for a while. But we're right on the edge of the Wabash River, which separates Indiana from Illinois. And this is the courthouse. Now we're gonna head down Main Street towards the river. See what's going on downtown today. Hey, Audi, what's up? Good to see you. Hope all is well.
three o'clock and all is well. So I was mentioning at the very start of the stream that uh, Vincennes, which is where we are, Vincennes, 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 Vincennes is uh, the oldest town in Indiana. And it was founded well before the Revolutionary War as a French outpost. The French were here in North America doing kind of fur trading. And so this, this was along a major buffalo trace, which is one of the routes that the gigantic herds of buffalo used to take across the continent and on the Wabash River. And so this was a, kind of a, a major trading route back before there were roads in this country, back when people were following game trails and rivers to get around. So we're talking back in the 1730s. And so this town has been here in one way, shape or form for 400 years, which is just crazy. You don't see that a lot west of the Appalachian Mountains, west of the colonies, the original 13 colonies. And for a while, it was the biggest city in Indiana or the Indiana Territory. And then the state capital of Indiana was moved to Corridon and then later moved again to Indianapolis. Um, and now I think memory serves me. I read about this earlier. There's like 80,000 people who live in uh, Vincennes right now. Hey, George, how are you? All right, now we're gonna walk down Main Street. This is a very historic Main Street. Lots of old buildings. And we're walking down towards the river. And if you are from this great city, and I've gotten anything wrong, drop it in the comments, let us know. Or if I walk past something that I should have talked about, let me know that too. But pretty amazing to be wandering down the streets where George Rogers Clark, a revolutionary general and of Lewis and Clark fame, helped rebuild a fort. There's a National Historic Park down on the river too for George Rogers Clark. It's a little hot out here today. Joe, so it's kind of a cool place. Already the main street looks neat. Hey, Daryl's here. What's up, Daryl? after this car. Cool looking pizza place here. Hey, 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 we've got pinned on places joining. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. It's a pretty day. It's kind of toasty though. kind of walk back through time here down a uh, historic Main Street in Vincennes, Indiana. And you can see the Fleur de Lis, which is the symbol of the city because of its French heritage. So you'll see a lot of Fleur de Lis around the city. And we've got a record store rocking out. It's 
newsboy statue might represent the first newspaper. Let's see here. Yeah. And this is where the historic Pantheon Theater was, and now it's a pocket park. Pretty neat. Hopefully we don't get a copyright strike for Purple Rain playing in the background there. <laughs> I've wanted to see this town for a while. It's mentioned on a lot of old documents um, when I've been kind of reading about the Wilderness Road and kind of the old pioneer days in Kentucky. Um, there's a lot of documents that refer to uh, Vincennes and the fort up here, and there's a lot of kind of interplay between Kentucky militia and this part of the country. Not always, <laughs> not always good stuff, um, but uh, I've been wanting to check this city out for a long time, so pleased to be here. Pleased to be exploring. The old time diner. Hey, Barack, hello, hello. So it looks like there's a lot still down here. Not a lot of foot traffic for a Saturday afternoon though. I'm gonna be uh, truck camping tonight. So pretty excited about that. So after we get done with this walk, I'm gonna I'm gonna drive about two hours east to a state park and set up the tent and do some truck camping. Oh, that building's really neat. Looks like we're reaching the end of Main Street and we'll hit the river walk down here. Yeah, that building is amazing. Very cool. Oh yeah, some really cool buildings down here at the end of Main Street. Look at the jewelry store up here. I bet that was the old bank back in the day. Hey, Joanne's here. What's up, Joanne? We'll just keep heading down here, see, see what we can find. like a mariachi band over here about to get into their car that seems like a toyota commercial waiting to happen right They're, it's a mariachi band all hopping in their highlander <laughs> that's kind of fun i bet yeah that's a giant old bank now it's a looks like it's repurposed as retail i see a, a brewery is in here And that street's really cool too. So now we're down by the historic park. Let's go check the, oh, there's a festival over there. A Latino festival. Festival Latino annual, okay. Well, let's go check that out too. 
and this is the George Rogers Clark National Historic Park right here. Same thing, front and back, okay. It's a neat little stretch of shops here. Let's go check out the park, and then we'll come back to the festival. And I've started a little project. You guys can check out the video, um, but I'll be posting one video per week um, for five weeks on this project that I'm doing where I'm doing a, what I am calling a live like a monk challenge. And I am following some rules that I have cribbed from Buddhist monks and just to see what it would feel like. So I'm not eating anything after noon and I'm eating, I'm being vegan and no material purchases and no social media. So all kinds of uh, fun challenges for 35 straight days. So we'll see how that goes, but you can get more details in the day one video I posted today. Wow, this is a pretty substantial memorial over here and a cool bridge. Oh, somebody just got married. They're just walking out of the church after they just got married. Hooray, hooray, congratulations to them. Yay. Well, how about that? Howdy, thanks, man. I, I hope people have fun with it. Um, I think the challenge itself is gonna be fun for me and I, I hope people have fun following along. And I think I can complete the challenge. Wow, look at this memorial. I had no idea this was here. The conquest of the West revolution. That thing is huge. Wow. Wow. Did you guys know this was here? That is massive. I had no idea this memorial existed. Wow. This thing is insane. So that bridge there goes over the Wabash River and on this side it's Indiana, on the other side it's Illinois. Wow. Let's walk around here.
George says he's been following since the beginning. That is true. That is true. George was there on my very first video. True story. Francis Vigo statue down here. Vigo, Vigo, Vigo. Is he the Italian national from the from the Revolutionary War? I want to say that's right. I want to say that's right. Of course I want to say that's right. I think that's right. And there's the Wabash River. So nice. It looks like they've got a bike trail down here. What a pretty town. George Rogers Clark and the Frontier. Hey, Leela, how are you? And there's the visitor center for the national park over there. So I think this is actually a national monument rather than a national park, but it is gorgeous. We'll probably lose our signal, but I'm gonna try and duck inside and show you guys the inside. But I doubt there's a good cell phone signal inside this uh, fortress here. But we're here, so I'm gonna try. There's the married couple driving away from the church. All right, let's give it a shot. Thank you, sir. Thank you very much. Wow. Wow. I hope you guys had good signal in there to see that. That was crazy cool. Holy cow. Who knew that such an impressive memorial to such a really important American? I didn't even know it existed and I didn't know it was here. So that was quite a treat. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. 
we'll come back here and take one last look at it. But man, that was worth coming all the way up here for. That was cool. All right. Wow. Thanks, you guys, for uh, coming along for that with me. Let's go check out that uh, annual Festival Latino. Holy cannoli. That was awesome. The art was amazing, following the story of his life. I mean, if you haven't had a chance, I mean, just hit up Wikipedia and take five minutes and read about the story of George Rogers Clark. Worth a minute if you're interested in history. Fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Yeah, Barack, I am too. I knew it was a historic town. I didn't know that it had a National Historic Park down on the waterfront. And I certainly didn't know it had a memorial that, that impressive. I wonder how many other crazy, insane memorials like that exist around the country that, you know, just aren't common knowledge. Hmm. I wonder. like the pedestrian access to this bridge is a little shut off right now so we won't cross the bridge right now but we will go check out the festival you can see everybody's leaving the church after the wedding that's where everybody is today at the wedding or the festival Let's go check out the river walk. A lot of little bugs down here. Maybe the festival is just getting started or just wrapping up. I don't know. Welcome to Vincent. Thank you very much. Welcome to Vincent's. That was cool. There's a little bit more history. You can pause the video here if you'd like to watch this. Or excuse me, read this. Let's see. See if we missed, we might have missed the festival. Or it just might be a low key festival. Uh, no, it's not even started yet. 4 p.m. to 11. Okay, that makes sense. just now starting. What's that? Oh. So cool. So it's going to start up at four o'clock tonight. And there's the statue of the person that the city was named after. That's going to be quite a scene. It looks like when it fires up down here.
there's the Wabash River. That's pretty. And it's 3.30 now, so the festival fires up in about a half an hour. But I bet it really gets cranking right around dark. Mic check, mic check. <laughs> That's cool that there's a festival going on here today. It just, it seems like a cool small town, doesn't it? With a lot going on. Cool downtown, festivals, river walk. National Memorials, uh, and right on the state line between Illinois and Indiana. Yeah, Audi, really nice views. What a cool place, right? Adriana says, what is crazy corn? You know what? I have no idea. <laughs> yeah. Oh, look at that. cash only or else that would have been a cool thing but I got to remember can't eat afternoon I've got to make my adjustment no food afternoon just drinks I wonder if ice counts as food yeah because I said no solid food look at me looking for loopholes on day one What a cool little town. What you guys think of Vincennes, Indiana? And there's probably a lot more to see, but I just wanted to do a downtown walk. And then I'll be heading out to go find the state park that we're camping at tonight. You can see some of the old brickwork remaining. Looks like they're repairing some of it. There was an even older stretch over here. Yeah, Adriana, I think it is. Joanne says, what are you allowing yourself to drink? Well, uh, no alcohol, but anything else is gonna be fine. So, juice or sodas or waters, coffee, tea. Them's the rules. So if I feel like I'm a little low on calories, I'll be able to drink some juice. Second Street Market Pizza. And a bar. It's like Second Street's a pretty big street. Ah, oh, now 
we've got a definition of crazy corn. That sounds interesting, doesn't it? That sounds tasty. So I'll stick with you guys until we get back to the beast. And then I'm gonna hop in the truck and go find my state park. Try and roll in there around uh, 5.30, 6 o'clock tonight. Get the tent set up before it gets too dark. but I hope you all have enjoyed this fun little peek at a cool, uh, cool small town. MacGuffin's here. McGuffin, you're gonna have to scroll back and see the uh, George Rogers Clark Memorial. It was uh, very much worth the trip. And we've got a little community garden over here. Sunflower Project. Looks like it's sponsored by the church that we're walking past right now. Uh, MacGuffin, you did miss the memorial, but uh, yeah, just scroll back. I think it's about 10 or 12 minutes in. You can't miss it. It's the big giant, big giant marble building. <laughs> Howdy, yeah, camping is great. And I love truck camping for sure. Should be nice and cool tonight, but not overly cold. Might not even need the sleeping bag. Definitely, definitely an old town. But most of the shops, although kind of a little older, look like they are still occupied, which is cool. So cool. There's a big post office up here. We'll walk past that too. Very cool looking. So in case you missed it at the very start, Vincennes is the oldest town in Indiana. And it was founded by French fur traders well before the American Revolution in the 1730s. So pretty amazing place. One of the first formal forts and settlements west of the Appalachian Mountains and part of a network of French forts that became pivotal during the French and Indian War. And there's the old post office. Now the police department. All right, you guys. The beast is parked right up here and I'm gonna say goodbye. It's been a fun walk. We've gotten 
just about 45 minutes in today and I'm gonna go and go camping and I'll do a quick little live stream from the campsite if I have signal I probably won't though so you probably won't see me until tomorrow but thanks you guys wonderful to see you as always and we will see you soon